use of properties of parallel lines let us study the theorems related to parallel lines theorem the sum of measures of all angles of a triangle is 180 degree so we are given that triangle abc is any triangle and we have to prove that angle abc plus angle acb plus angle bac is equal to 180 degree so here we will have a construction we will draw a line parallel to segment bc and passing through a on that line we will take points p and q such that p dash a dash q so proof here line pq parallel line bc and segment ab is the transversal therefore angle abc will be equal to angle pab these are alternate angles number it as 1 in the same way line pq parallel line bc and segment ac is the transversal so therefore angle acb is equal to angle qac they are also alternate angles number it as 2 so from 1 and 2 when you add them the left adds with the left and the right with the right angle abc plus angle acb is equal to angle pab plus angle qac and number it as 3 now adding angle bac to the both sides of point 3 we will have angle abc plus angle acb plus angle bac is equal to angle pab plus angle qac plus angle bac here angle pab plus angle bac is written together plus angle qac pab and bac form the complete angle pac hence we can write angle pac in place of the two so we will have angle pac plus the remaining angle that is angle qac an angle pac plus qac is equal to 180 degree because they are angles in linear pair hence we prove that the sum of the measures of all three angles is 180 degree tests for parallel lines whether given two lines are parallel or not can be decided by examining the angles formed by a transversal of the lines these are called as tests for parallel lines let us learn these tests for parallel lines interior angles test so the statement is if the interior angles formed by a transversal of two distinct lines are supplementary then the two lines are parallel so we have a figure where it is given that line xy is a transversal of line ab and line cd and angle bpq plus angle pqd is equal to 180 degree we have to prove that line ab parallel line cd so we are going to give an indirect proof So let us suppose that the statement to be proved is wrong. That is, we assume that line AB and line CD are not parallel. Means line AB and CD will intersect at point T. So triangle PQT is formed. As we studied in the previous theorem, that the sum of the three angles is one eighty degree. So angle TPQ plus angle PQT plus angle PTQ is equal to 180 degree. That is sum of angles of a triangle. But angle TPQ plus angle PQT, the addition is 180 degree, which is given to us. That is the sum of two angles of a triangle is 180 degree. But sum of three angles of a triangle should be 180 degree. So here, angle PTQ will be of zero degree. 
therefore line pt and line qt means line ab and line cd are not distinct lines but we are given that the line ab and line cd are distinct lines that means different lines therefore we arrive at a contradiction therefore our assumption is wrong hence line ab and line cd are parallel thus it is proved that if the interior angles formed by a transversal are supplementary then the lines are parallel this property is called as interior angles test of parallel lines that means if interior angles are supplementary then the two given lines are parallel next is alternate angles test so the statement is if a pair of alternate angles formed by a transversal of two lines is congruent then the two lines are parallel so we are given line n is a transversal of line l and line m an angle a and angle b is a congruent pair of alternate angles that is angle a is equal to angle b we have to prove that line l parallel line m so here we can see in the figure angle a plus angle c is equal to 180 degree that is they are angles in linear pair but we are given that angle a is equal to angle b so in place of a we can write angle b so therefore angle b plus angle c will be equal to 180 degree but angle b and angle c are interior angles on the same side of the transversal and as they are interior we can say that line l parallel to line m and that is the interior angles test this property is called the alternate angles test for parallel lines that means if the alternate angles are congruent then the two lines will be parallel to each other corresponding angles test the theorem statement is if a pair of corresponding angles formed by a transversal of two lines is congruent then the two lines are parallel so here we are given that line n is a transversal of line l and line m angle a and angle b is a congruent pair of corresponding angles that is angle a is equal to angle b to prove that line l parallel to line m so in the proof we have angle a plus angle c is equal to 180 degree that is angles in linear pair but angle a is equal to angle b which is given so in place of a we can write angle b therefore we have angle b plus angle c is equal to 180 degree that is if these are a pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal therefore we can say that line l parallel to line m that is interior angles test so this property is called the corresponding angles test of parallel lines that means if corresponding angles are equal then the lines are parallel corollaries if a line is perpendicular to two lines in a plane then the two lines are parallel to each other if two lines in a plane are parallel to a third line in the plane then those two lines are parallel to each other